Two. He said he'll pit in two, so pit in two. Did I? I can't fucking... I don't know what you've done. Ah, oh, fucking hell. You put in 22, didn't you? Because it didn't give me... God, fuck this game. <laughs> and we are recording. Thunderbirds are go. Um, hello there. I am Ashmanix, and once again, I am joined by my beautiful co-host, Pixel. It's still warm here. <laughs> and it is warm up here where I am too. Yeah. It is a lovely Saturday evening. Um, I am chill. Kind of tired. I went out into town and I walked a lot, which is uh, rare. Ha! <laughs> so. <clears throat> I was about to say. Oh, it's not that rare, I see. I mean, I've, I go into town a bit and... Back in the day, I used to go, I used to walk a bit in town. It's not that far. Um, but for a recluse like me, it was quite far, quite a lot back in the day. I haven't done that recently. I mean, because of the big bad COVID and stuff like that. But it was nice and the weather, even though it wasn't sunny, sunny, it was overcast. It was actually really warm. So um, I did enjoy it. And oh man, I went, one second, let me just click on the most recent save because I want to kind of stop the music. Yeah, and it's much lower now. I like this. Cool. Um, it's an interesting piece of music that's playing. Yeah. Kind of intriguing. Um, but yes, like, uh, I went into... There's a Waterstones in town. And um, I went in there, and I love going into Waterstones. I never buy anything, and I feel bad, but it's... <laughs> obviously, the selection... I mean, they have a large selection. It's a big, it's a big store, but they're always quite a bit more expensive as well. And I go in there and I'm like, oh, I'll I'll look at the the manga section and the kind of comic section, and I never buy anything. I don't buy manga or comics. And uh, I say to myself, maybe one day, maybe one day. Um, but they have this amazing cafe on the top floor, right? They have two cafes in this one. It's amazing. I fucking love cafes. Um, mm -hmm. One on the ground floor and one on the top floor. And the top floor even has a piano there as well. I don't know if you have to book to play it, but either way, it's like this awesome cafe. It's got like a... I don't know, it just looks... It looks cool. And uh, it's really nicely set out. And the books are... That's the floor that has the manga and stuff on it as well. Um, and I... Unfortunately, when we got there, I was with a friend. Uh, the top, cafe at the top had closed. So next time I need to remember to go there earlier, so I can enjoy the cafe. Don't know. There's something I quite like about the ground floor cafe or the basement cafe they have. Um, it's like right in the center and all around the sides of the cafe is where the books are. And I just, mm. I, I've been there, I just love that. I love that sitting there and surrounded by books. I mean, it's the inner geek in me or something, or the inner book nerd. I've not read books in a long time, but... I absolutely love that place. But anyway, <laughs> I'll stop waxing lyrical about um, my forays into uh, bookstores and um, get back on to shooting the gas island. And I'm going to switch to no avatars early this time. Um, so in the last... What is this? It's almost like you know what you're doing. <laughs> we... Uh, uh, give me... I eventually learn. Eventually. And then I'll forget again. Um, yeah. So in the last episode, what did we do in the last episode? We we've talked with uh, Real about the fact that she was not actually who she a, said a, a, she who was. she said she was. She was actually wizards and came from Washington and works for some kind of organization. Did she say if it was Interpol? She didn't, specify. she didn't say anything. No. no, she didn't say anything about who she's working with. Just that she's on some kind of investigation. Yeah, and there was um, a hypothetical situation where she said, you know, this is possible that a senior higher up was um, involved in this island and might have attended it in the past and might be trying to cover it up. And there might be other parts of her organization that want to research what uh, to find out what's going on. 
Um, so there might be corruption in the organization that she works for too. Hypothetically Perhaps. speaking. So, let me just crack open this can. Oh yeah. It's ice cold as well. Brilliant. Shall we get into it? Why not? <clears throat> of course, our next step will be unmasking the killer. In her testimony, Rail talked about everyone. If you combine and compare all of the testimonies, I'm convinced that we will be able to unmask the killer. Could you take a look at this first? Thomas was the first guest who crossed the bridge. We don't know if the doors were open or closed at that time. But no, Rail and Jacob crossed the bridge first. Ah yes, you're right. Alright, but let's focus on retracing Thomas's steps as he was the one who was murdered. Rail noticed that the doors were open. Next, Thomas crossed the bridge. Y yes, uh, at this point in time the doors were open. But if we base this on Rail's testimony, we don't know if the doors were closed before or after Thomas went to the dining hall. This part is definitely muddled. After that, we went through the corridor and crossed the bridge. The iron doors were closed and nothing was happening on the bridge, right? Y yes, I, I don't remember anything being out of the ordinary. One important fact is that the iron doors were closed when we went through the corridor. So, if Rell's testimony was correct, someone must have closed the iron doors just before we crossed the bridge. Uh, um, who could it have been? The iron doors. Most likely. Oh, shit. Time to choose. I would say Thomas closed them. Why? I don't know. It's gut instinct. What do you think? Wait, can I... What's the button to... Yeah, right. Thomas had gone through the doors and then Rail came back and she'd noticed the doors open. And then when we came through, the door was closed. What could that mean? Thomas could, Thomas is not that strong though. Does it not does it need strength to close them or does it need strength just to open them? I've just noticed the third answer. The doors were closed the entire time. Why is that there? Could the doors have been closed this entire time? Nah, they were open when we first walked through them. Is that... I feel like this is playing games with my head now. Now, it would make... It's possible that either Thomas closed them... I don't know how easy it is to close, though. That's the question. Because didn't... Um... It's a big, heavy door. Uh, they make a big a deal out of that. It's possible that it's hard to open, but easy to close. Depending on how the mechanism works. But I think... Do we just assume it's just as hard to open as it is to close? Hmm. Let's make that assumption for now, because there's too many weird... Like, it's, it's, we need to make some assumptions. Um, so, Thomas is not that strong. He was a bit tubby. So, for him to close them... is a little bit hard to believe. Assuming it is hard to close. Uh, the doors were closed the entire time. Is it possible that there's a mechanism to close the doors that doesn't require the manual closing of them? I don't know. Uh, I just want to choose an answer to see. It says, the answers are, the killer closed them, Thomas closed them, the doors were closed the entire time. My first uh, gut instinct was the killer closed them. You're saying that Tom you think Thomas closed them? Yeah, because the killer closed the doors is the obvious answer. I'll go with your instinct. Thomas probably closed the doors. Did Thomas? But why? D did he need to close the doors? Because Thomas can't have been the killer, so there would have been no point for him to close the doors. You're assuming. Neniko, you're overlooking one thing. That letter that Thomas had on him was probably written by the killer. So, instructions from the killer may have been written in it as well. 
If a good enough reason were given, Thomas would have closed the doors. For example, This is very confidential, so I want you to close the iron doors so that other guests can't make it back easily. I see. He may have tricked Thomas into closing the doors himself. That way, nobody would spot the killer, and nobody could have seen Thomas being killed. Let's talk about the murder scene. Wait, have we locked ourselves into an ending? I don't know. Hmm. After we crossed the bridge, we met Abby. Abby told us that she would lo lock the doors into place. If she did as she said, the iron door should have been opened right after that. She's a villain, tried to break my bones, so maybe she was lying. But that doesn't appear to be the case. If Akira and Giselle's testimonies are true, the iron doors were open. So Abby did what she said she was going to do. After that, Akira and Giselle went straight to the dining hall without noticing anything unusual. G Giselle said she went back to her room to pick up her notebook. That that's pretty suspicious behaviour. Is it? Oh, that's right. She did return to her room to pick up her notebook and then went back to the dining hall. Yeah, why did she need a notebook? What is this notebook? I don't know, it could uh, just be a notebook. I know, but like, uh, I need to. Go, I need a notebook to go back to the dining hall. I need, uh, they were eating. Hmm. The doors were open at that time, and there was still nothing strange about the bridge. This uh, this drawing here. I know they're trying to like make this easier to con uh, to conceive. <laughs> but what the fuck, man? God, he's he's trying to logic it out. He's like, ah, oh, all this happened. Yes, I see the it, connection. It's it's it, look how look. It's easier to comprehend. Like, do you know how they do it in um, Umineko, right? They have the drawings or the little yeah. uh, the, and and it, and it does explain it in a very easy to understand way. The drawings are quite clear. Uh, this is this just, just looks like <laughs> this just looks like a fucking bunch of scribbles. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is accurate to like if one of us were just like trying to sort it out. Like, uh, oh yes, oh yeah, and then this happened, and oh, oh, I don't understand what I've just written. For goodness sake, um, Alex crossed the bridge next. Alex also testified that there was nothing strange about the bridge and the doors and that the iron doors were closed. He was the last one to, cro to cross the bridge. The iron doors were closed. How did he cross the bridge then? Uh, as in... Alex crossed the bridge after Giselle. So Giselle said that the doors were open. Alex also uh, crossed the bridge next. Oh no, when he got there, the doors were closed, so he opened them and went. How can he open the door? Or she, sorry. Uh, by opening the door. Haven't we just talked about how hard it is to open the door? It just takes a while, I think. No, it's like super it's hard. Yeah, it's heavy and slow, but like Alex doesn't have the strength for that. Uh, I feel like we're, we're making an assumption there. I think people can open the door, it just takes a while. The only people I've seen open the door is Vincent and Abby. Abby has shown that she can break bones, so she's like super strong. No, she hasn't. Yeah, she 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 was going to break. She tried and she didn't. But she was strong. She was able to hold down Neniko quite easily. She was able to dislocate her, but not break her bone. It's not. Is it easy to dislocate someone's shoulder? I don't know. I haven't tried dislocating anyone's shoulder. I would assume it needs some strength. I I think you could do it, you. But like, I think <laughs> Alex doesn't have the strength. I don't know. I feel that that's sus, sus because I don't remember Alex saying that she opened the door. Let me just read this again. Alex crossed the bridge next. Alex also testified that there was nothing strange about the bridge and the doors and that the iron doors were closed. He was the last one to cross the bridge. It's suspicious. Alex could have closed the doors and might have done something on the bridge, right? Is his testimony trustworthy? That's a good question. In any case, I'm just going to totally ignore you, Neniko. Considering Rail's testimony, it's clear that the iron doors were closed at this point. We don't know who closed them for now, anyway. Well, anyone could have closed them, including Akira, who left the dining hall immediately. 
Uh, only the two of us have an alibi. Or did the people from the mansion close it? It might be possible, but it wouldn't explain why Abby went out of her way to open those heavy doors. If the killer had the people from the mansion close the doors, why would Abby open the doors in the first place? Does that mean the killer closed them? And Thomas, who stepped out of the dining hall, was burnt to a crisp in the corridor in the guest room building. Uh, uh, Judging from both your and Alex's testimonies that the bridge felt warm, it's certain that there was something hot on the bridge. But Alex told me that he didn't see anything unusual on the bridge when he crossed it. That's very strange. If there was something strange on the bridge, Alex would probably have noticed it. The part is still vague. But maybe Alex was just lying. That could certainly be the case, but Rill may be lying as well. When it when it comes to what happened in the bridge, the testimonies of those two are the most suspicious. Considering the situation, definitely. Could things be less complicated than we're thinking? <laughs> I'm glad that he brought that option up. Wait, what option? That things could be less complicated than they think. Oh, I thought you were going to say because I have a idea that th this could have been a lot easier to explain. <laughs> But I get it's because you, 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 as you say, he likes to overcomplicate everything in this, in his life. He fucking overcomplicated the whole thing with Alex as well, remember? Hmm. He did. <clears throat> I think it's best to keep things simple. Perhaps we should not focus only on the murder of Thomas. This could be somehow related to the murder of Sir Raymond as well. Oh, a new drawing. This is how the guest rooms were allocated. We found Sir Raymond's body in this room. There's nothing particularly strange about that. Is there anything here that points to the killer? Why would why didn't we see this earlier? This map. Now we know where everyone is uh, is staying. I know why. <laughs> Can you see my mouse? Yeah. Right. So this is the bridge. Thomas was killed here. Raymond is here. Ikeda and Alex are on the same floor. Going up to the second floor. Oh yeah, and then Nico was directly above us. Rail was directly above Alex. Giselle was directly above Raymond. Now she could have opened the, the windows, rappelled down, and opened the window of his room. Because as we know... Um, those windows open outwards. Yeah. I don't know if they open from the outside, though. Have we seen any proof of that? We haven't actually seen anyone open them from the outside, but we've heard that they open from the outside. We've also seen some dudes on the window, like the outline. Yeah, but that, you know, I mean, that just proves it. That was just uh, the monster, supposed, allegedly. Um, but Giselle is directly above Raymond, right? Sassy was Anyway. <clears throat> hmm. I want to try something. Huh? What, what do you want to try? I mean, go right ahead, but... I'm going to the room where Sir Raymond's body was found, and I'll yell from there. I want you to listen if you can hear my voice in this room. Uh, are you really going to go back to that room? My knees are shaking again. Oh shit, I don't want to go back. Hey, that means you're going to leave me alone again. You've got to be kidding. No, no, you can't be serious. Yeah, I mean, didn't we talk about staying together because the monster's about? You'll be fine. I'll only be gone for two minutes at most. Oh, Akira. Uh, uh, are you really going to go? C -c Calm down, Neniko. Think. It's just stupid Akira trying to be funny. <laughs> Get ready for the longest two minutes of your life. God damn piece of shit. But what? You, you idiot, don't you know? Fucking Akira. I can hear Nanako yelling and screaming behind the door, but I need to check my hunch. I'd better hurry to the room where we found Sir Raymond's body. Ah, it's nice and dark. Wonderful. Uh. Lights on? This room is so gross. Putrid dead body smell still hangs in the air. 
I better get this over with quickly. Nenoko is a bonehead! That should do it. Now to find out if Nenoko could hear me. Uh oh, flashes. I'll go back to my room. I can run. Oh, that was quick. Hey, Nenoko, I'm done. You can come out of hiding. Uh, Kita, you idiot. You, you made me wait almost a million years. That long? And you haven't had a mental breakdown? Not bad at all. So, could you hear me shout? Shout? Oh, you mentioned that. I, I completely forgot. Yeesh. Well, since you totally forgot about it, I'll just have to go back one more time. Oh my god, Akira. One sec. Ugh. <sighs> so today on Ikeda is a fucking prick. Eh? Yeah. I was just saying, today on Ikeda is a fucking prick. <sighs> yeah. No, no, just, just kidding. I remember what you told me. Hmm. Are you sure? So could you hear my voice over there? I don't think I did. Probably. I'm telling the truth. Would I lie to you? Don't leave me alone anymore, please. I, I, if you leave me again, I'll call you Sand Demon Scumbag Ikeda for the rest of your life. What's that a reference to? Is it? It's not a reference to anything, I think. It's just her calling him a demon scumbag. Oh, wait, Sand Ikeda, yeah. Mm, yeah. I forgot that his name is Sand Ikeda. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I believe you. But if you didn't hear me, then it's kind of strange. Because Alex and I both could hear Sir Raymond's moans. That would be uh. the moaning didn't come from the room, but came from the hallway instead, maybe? No. I checked the hallway as soon as I heard the moaning, but there was nothing unusual there. I didn't hear the sound of a door closing. That moaning sound had to have come from another room. Wait, do we have the... Shit, we don't have the images, do we? You know the drawings he had of the rooms? Only when he's going through them. Ah, uh, but then which room did it come from? I think that it came from the room next to this one. There was nobody in the room next to this one. No. The room next to this one? I, I have a bad feeling about this. Join the party. If I break into the room next to ours, I may be able to find some evidence there. I knew it. D don't go. Stop leaving me behind. Come with me, then. Uh, to, to be honest, I don't like that either. Come on, Enico, don't leave me alone, man. Wait, wait, I have a feeling you're going to leave me again. I, I guess I'll just have to come with you, because you won't be able to do anything without me. She's not wrong. Ah, that's very helpful. Really. What's with that smug look? Are you going to pick the door? The lock? Is water wet? I forgot this guy's got lock picking skills. <laughs> Never mind that. He's such a prick to her. You've you've heard me rant about this before. Yep. <laughs> Not bad, eh? For someone so useless. I guess you'll always have a career in burglary you can fall back on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's nice and dark. Hmm. And I have this room, yeah. Just turn the lights off and stay here forever. Yeah, it looks exactly like our room. Huh. Alright, all clear. I don't see anyone hiding. Oh. Why don't you just turn on the lights? It's almost identical to our room. The only thing that's different is the painting, is it? How's it different? Shit. Is it? I don't know. I think it is a different painting, but I can't remember what the painting in our room looks like. Uh, Neneko, do you notice anything? It doesn't matter how small. Do, do I notice anything? Uh, nothing in particular, to be honest. Well, the sheets are a bit misaligned, but only by a tiny bit. The sheets, huh? I, I don't think it's a, bit de a big deal. No, I think it is. And to give handkerchief with initials on it. But, but, but was it underneath the bed? The initials DR, Dan Raymond. So, this was Sir Raymond's handkerchief. 
It doesn't have any dust on it. I also don't think the killer left it there on purpose. This is important evidence that proves that Sir Raymond was in this room recently. So, Sir Raymond was attacked here. But isn't that strange? It's certainly strange. So, the killer called Sir Raymond to come all the way to the room next to yours. Then they went out their way to move him to a different room to kill him. No matter how you think about it, isn't it strange? It's certainly a mystery. Why did they tell him to come to this room? And why did they move him to a different room later? I've got a... Just something to do with him being killed in this room would give, a, um, give away who the killer is. Which is why they would have had to... Which is why the killer would have thought to move Sir Raymond after his death. I don't know what gives it a, what gives away the who who the killer is, but do you do you get what I'm saying? Not actually. I'm getting a bit right. So I get that they moved Raymond from that room to that room. Yes, but like for what reason? So I think that what the reason is, um, knowing Sir Raymond was killed in this room somehow shows who the killer is. I don't know how it shows who the killer is, but. Somehow it would show who the killer is, which is why the killer decided to move Sir Raymond after, uh, before killing him or after killing right. him or whatever. Alright, assuming you can scale the windows from the outside and open them, Jacob's room is di uh, directly above that room. That's what I was thinking. So Jacob scaled down, went into that room, killed Raymond, moved him using, I don't know, the windows? I don't know. And then Well, the morning... Up. The, so he, so it's alleged. What I think, what um, if I bring it back? Why is Scroll it time to come to this room? Yeah. Then they went out of their way to move him to a different room to kill him. So the assumption here is that they move, they got him into that room first before killing him. So they called him into this room first and then moved him into this room uh, next to before killing him so that means that he wouldn't have died here he would have died here first and then the moaning would have wait a minute but he heard the moaning uh beforehand what could the moaning have been anyway shall we continue oh <sighs> oh fuck that is not what i wanted to do but what do you think I really don't know. Let's see. I might know why they moved Sir Raymond to the other room. When the killer murdered Sir Raymond, they would have known about my real background. Pardon? So they must have thought that it would be too risky to mutilate him in the room next to mine. That's why they moved him to a different room first. Uh, okay, that wasn't what I was thinking. Ew, did they really have to mutilate him? I mean, they wanted to mutilate him so badly, even if it would mean that they would be discovered. What a sick person. They likely harboured a grudge against him. Anyway, even this will not explain why the body was moved. I do not understand why the secret meeting with Sir Raymond took place in this room. There would be only disadvantages to having a secret meeting here. It's as if it had to be this room for a reason. Wait, wait, wait. Did anyone come to visit us uh, the night before Tom? The night before we had... Aurora. Aurora, yeah. Where's... It doesn't exist. Alex is here. <laughs> Could Aurora be Alex? And Alex I mean, is not the... pretending not to know who Aurora is? No one knows who Aurora is, including Neneko. It can't be that. Mm. A reason why it had to be this room. For instance, perhaps there's a hidden passageway in this room. Oh. That would explain why Sir Raymond was caught off guard. Yeah, like, um, that breaks... Do you remember in Neneko, there's like, what, Nox's rules? And I can't remember what, what rules about uh, Detective... 
um, stories. I don't remember any of them, yeah. Yeah, I remember there was rules, and this is probably breaking some of them. Like, random secret passages that have just been, like, that just get revealed at the point of finding out who the murderer is. <clears throat> but in that case, it had to be a passageway that Killa knew about, but Sir Raymond didn't. Is it possible that there's a hidden passage here that even the administrator of the mansion didn't know about? It's certainly a little bit unlikely. Or did they manage to surprise him another way? Ah, the window. As my initial... The uh, window would make sense, yeah. They just kind of like, jumped in. Do the windows open inwards as well? I can't remember. I honestly don't know. Another way? How then? For example... Window. I like that when they weren't dangerous for Sir Raymond. He, uh, he could defend himself. Did they sneak in through the window? These windows have no lock, so they could sneak in from outside. They have no lock. Fucking hell. <clears throat> for a building that looks like a fucking prison as well. From the window? There's a terrible wind blowing constantly. Did they sneak in by using a rope? It would be quite difficult, or even impossible. Well. It certainly would be difficult. But I don't think it would be impossible. For a trained professional killer, that is. So do you remember when we saw the outline? You said you saw the outline of the ghost of... Uh, was it the monster of Shirinagasa Island? The ghost of Shirinagasa uh, Island? The what? monster of Shirin The demon of Shirinagasa Island. I thought you were about to say the ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> <laughs> was that um, when we were in I Ikida's room? Yeah. Could that really, I wonder... Uh, well, it certainly would be difficult, but I don't think it would be impossible for a trained professional killer, that is. I mean, who could that be? Abby seems like a trained professional. Well, she could be. Giselle hasn't really... She seems a bit suspicious. But, um, Rel, we know Rel, Rel is, um, secret service of some sort. That doesn't really narrow it. Um, but, well... If you pull it like that, you may be right. Just, just by thinking about the possibilities, old memories come back into my mind, and, and I feel dizzy. Oh, Neneko! L let's stop talking about this. No, Neneko! Give us, give us the thoughts. I almost thought that I'd solved the case, though. How could the killer have come up with such a strange murder method? There must have been a simpler way. Huh? Certainly. Or maybe the killer was inspired by something that had happened in the past. An isolated island in the sea. Strange iron doors. A warm bridge. A burnt corpse. Constantly blowing winds. A transparent killer. A mysterious creature. Isolated island in the sea. Strange iron doors. A warm bridge. A burnt corpse. What? Keep going. Wait. By Jove! I think I've got it! What the fuck will that come from? <laughs> the killer's modus operandi. Have you figured this out, Kuxel? No, but I'm waiting for this guy to just run outside and yell Eureka! Or something. I I want to try and figure out what you thought, but I can't... Like, what does this... This, uh... We don't have... Only a fool tries to comprehend the mind of Sen Ikeda. <laughs> See, the problem is that we can't refer to any of the stuff that we've, um... There's no tips! Yeah, do you... And I've not been making notes as we go along. Do you remember the book? Do you remember the book we found in the dining hall? Yeah. Was there not, like, there was a story to that or a poem or some shit? Yeah, I it think was. I think that might be related to this, but I cannot remember what this, the, the story was. But anyway. What? R really? It's, tell me. If what I'm thinking is right, only this person could be the killer. Oh, don't make me choose. Also, the music has stopped. The killer is... The killer is Grumble Grumble. Fuck this game. Yes, who? Hang on. I heard something behind the door. Oh, no. Ah, oh, fuck this game. What? What are you talking about? Your, your timing totally sucks. Are you leading me on? Who's there? 
What are you doing there? Papa, was there really someone there? Oh, Nanako, let's go after them because I, they're <laughs> fucking. Whoa! What the? Why are you guys coming out of there? You gave me a fright. Yeah, what is happening? Akira, I don't have a fucking clue what's happening. Did you see anyone running past you right now? What? I just saw Jacob. No. Yeah, yeah. Jacob? Darn, I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, hold up! Did something happen again? Hey, wait! Bye. And... We just ran. Hey, what's going on? Jacob just ran past me. So oh. it's the assumption that Jacob's the killer? <laughs> yes. Uh. So, Jacob was listening in on us from there. What's he up to? Rail, stand back. I'm opening the door. Uh, okay. Weird. Wait, the door's both closed and we have to... Oh, well. The iron door is no longer blocked. Looks like he's one step ahead of us. <laughs> Jacob! Jacob is in the middle of the bridge. I can see Vincent and Abby blocking the way. Huh? What is he doing? Neneko! Duck! Vincent's holding a gun! What? Where? Oh shit! Yeah, okay, yeah. You can hardly see it. A gun! Eek! Someone did the killer after all! I can't remember what I gave. J Jacob is shouting. Wait, who? Jacob, you gave him a thick Scottish accent. But also, what did he say? He said, Someone did the killer after all. So I don't think Jacob's the killer. Jacob's shouting something at them, but the sound of the wind makes it difficult to make out what he's saying. That is not what I wanted to press. The killer is. What? Does Jacob know who the killer is? Was he, he eavesdropping on us? To frame to... You. Nah. Was he eavesdropping on us to learn information that could unmask the killer? Please, because I have... Jacob and the other two appear to be negotiating, but I still can't hear what they're saying. Vincent... And for some reason he doesn't want to walk forwards to he hear it. Uh, maybe because he wants to stay away from the gun that Vincent's holding towards Jacob? Uh, that's towards Jacob. We're right behind you. Jacob. So if he shoots, <sighs> it could hit us. Also, we have already established that the staff are not friendly. So it's best to keep a distance. Vincent and Abby don't appear to be very open to the negotiations. I have a feeling something very bad is about to happen. I bet I bet you Jacob's gonna get shot. Hmm. Hey! What is going on there? It looks like everyone in the guest room building heard the commotion and has come here. Rel, Kira, Giselle, and Alex are all here. Get away from the door. Vincent has a gun. He might shoot you. Stay out of his line of sight. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Oh, man. But what the hell is going on? He's got his gun pointed at Jacob. What's going on? I know. It's just like out of nowhere. I think Jacob's trying to cut a deal with them. That's just a guess, though. Oh, guess it didn't work. <laughs> Wrecked. Look. Looks like the new. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ikeda. Looks. Thank you for your fantastic commentary, as always. Looks like the negotiations have fallen apart. Stunning insight. What was that gunshot? Wait, what did, happened? Did he shoot? Tell me. Where did he shoot him? Could have been the arm. Uh, indeterminate region. It's not a very pleasant sight. Don't look. All right. That whoa! That was a headshot from the hip. Vincent appears to be an expert marksman. <sighs> this is a warning to the killer. I forgot what kind of voice I gave him. Uh, it was kind of similar to that. You have 30 minutes. If you don't tell me the code by then, I will kill everyone without mercy. Uh, the code? Oh, shit. Is this going to start fucking timering me? What, you want a 30 minute timer? <sighs> God, actually, I would enjoy that. That would be funny. Oh, shut the shut up. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Vincent, what code do you want? Detective. Outsiders shouldn't talk too much, or their lives will be cut short here. Jeez. What? 
I see Vincent's muzzle move in my direction and quickly take cover. Suddenly, the iron doors on both sides close. The guest rooms in the main building are separated again. We have 30 minutes. That's not a lot of time. Wait, how did the doors close? But they must have some kind of switch. There's no point in asking the killer for help now. We'll have to reveal their identity. Let's go back to my room. We can discuss what to do next there. How can he stay so calm after that? He said we only have 30 minutes. What is this code anyway? What do they want? I don't know, but I bet you <coughs> Senikira's going to pull some out of his arse. Just calm, <laughs> just calm down. Let me think. Let's go to my room and plan our next move there. Anyone want to have a shower so I could walk in on them? <laughs> Third time charm, huh? Hmm. <laughs> don't tell me you're going to shoot yourself in the head. Why? I'm not drunk enough to do that. Yet. Not like last time. Besides, if I have to shoot someone, I'd shoot the person who got us into this mess in the first place. Ooh, fade to black. So, um, I think you you thought for a second there when Jacob started running that it was Jacob. I mean, to be honest, when we were looking at that, the plan of the rooms, I was thinking it might have been Jacob because of where um, uh, Sir Raymond was called to. But that all of that was probably made you made to make you think that it was Jacob. So that's annoying. Fooled yet again. Uh, this now. game. Time for the big reveal. Time to settle <laughs> this once and for all. I should already know who the killer is. Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh fuck. Fuck. Good thing I saved just before this. Right. It's uh, not me, and it's not Akira. I don't think. Uh, Jacob is dead. Uh, Abigail. It's not her, right? And it's not Vincent, because they're like, where the fuck? Who's the killer? Give me the code. Thomas is already dead. Aurora doesn't exist. So it's either, and it's not Neniko. So it's either Rel, Alex, or Giselle. And we can't <laughs> refer back to the. <laughs> I just noticed, I love at the top, he's just scribbled out who's wizards and how's written who's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> he recycles, man. <laughs> um. Oh my god, I don't have a fucking clue. So I thought, I was thinking, I don't think it's Rail, right? That's too... Uh, we've already just found out Rail's wizards and... I mean, that would have to be like a double or triple fucking reveal Whammy. that she's like, oh, I was actually the killer all along. I was lying that I was working for the the police or whoever the fuck. It's like pulling the mask of someone who's already pulled a mask off them. Yeah, and I feel that goes against some detective novel rule shit. But, but then again, this game doesn't fold. I don't know if it's falling. How anything. about Giselle? What do you think? I'm thinking either Giselle or Alex, right? But Alex... I, I've been suspicious of Giselle for a long time now. You know me, right? So I, my, I'm edging towards Giselle. What are you thinking? I would still like to say Jacob, but judging by the fact that he's <laughs> fucking dead, he's dead man. I can't... We could say it was Jacob all along. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just shout at Vincent and say, you fucking idiot, you killed the killer. But that's not going to fly in this. So now I'm thinking, well, it's either real Giselle or Alex. I don't think it's Alex. I don't think it's real. And I don't know a fucking thing about Giselle, so she's the only one left. Aurora doesn't exist, but I could say Aurora, just so that I can see Seneke. I would actually choose that. No. Just to have Seneke go to everyone and say, Aurora's the killer! And they're all like, who the fuck's Aurora? I have saved, haven't the I? The option's there. <laughs> we can see him lose his mind. It's not going to let you go on unless you get the right one. Damn. What am I thinking? I've been over this several times already and I still don't know what to do. Oh, shit. What? Uh -huh. A blackout. No, this is... Oh, I hear something moving quickly in the dark. Whoa. Oh, we weren't supposed to... Before oh, I realise what is going on, I feel a sharp sting in my side. 
seconds later, the pain hits. The world goes dark before my eyes, and Kukso is happy to see Senikida get what he deserves for picking a stupid answer. <laughs> Did you? Are you happy? This is this is not exactly what I thought would happen, but. <laughs> You know how you're like, it's not, it's funny because when I clicked it, you're like, it's not going to let you click the wrong one. <laughs> it's not good to have consequences. That's what I look like, yeah. But, there we go. I, I was wrong. I okay. tried to fight back, but my punches only hit air. A shadow thrusts its knife at me again. The pain makes me collapse onto the floor. In the dark, I try to defend myself, but suddenly feel a strong shock as the blade pierces my chest. I violently spew blood. <coughs> The shadow repeatedly stabs me and over and over. Damn, this is violent. Ikita! Ikita! I think I can hear Nanako's cry from far away. Ooh. Darn! How could I mess up at the last moment? Only one person could have been the killer. The answer was staring me right in the face. Why did I... Go oh, shit. What was that? I don't know. That was a little flash of uh, the killer, maybe? I was looking the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it at the corner missed, of my eye. You missed the fucking worst, <laughs> like the the best part of getting it wrong. <laughs> it's a bit fright. It was a bit scary, man. I don't like that fucking. Right, reload. Uh, load from that. Wait, let's get Wait, this. Wait, that's shit. the last. I thought you fucking saved it before that. That's fine. We can skip. Oh shit! Right. I like that. It just goes right to the thing. I think it's Giselle. Well, let's go with Giselle. That's right. The only one who could be the killer is. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Rel and just fuck me over. He's like, I'm going to ignore what you chose. Rel, I need you to cooperate with me, alright? Huh? Yes, of course. How can I help? It's only a teeny tiny thing. Huh? Oh boy. Wait, I did click on Giselle, right? I don't know, I wasn't looking. <laughs> this is, I did click on Giselle, right? Also, this is getting very Umineko music y. Again, yeah. Hey, hey, is this some kind of joke? Why are you tying me up? Hey, my hands hurt. Wait, don't you like this sort of thing? Damn, I thought you were that type of person, Rail. Well, I mean, yeah, but let's not. Rail, you're the killer, aren't you? Oh, he's putting on a show. What? What? No way! Huh? So, she's the killer! That's right. First of all, Rail and Alex were the only two people who had the opportunity to set a trap on the bridge that could kill Thomas. So, this allowed me to narrow the list of suspects down to two people. Then there's the murder of Sir Raymond. I always wondered why exactly Sir Raymond was caught off guard. But in the end, it doesn't matter. The killer only needed to unlock the door and sneak into the room where the meeting was about to be held. Did she unlock the door? But how did she do that? Actually, she's really an undercover agent who sneaked onto this island. She's highly trained. Not only can she pick locks, but her assassination skills are also first class. But how did she kill Thomas? Did she find out how? We don't need to anymore. We could just ask the killer herself. Good point. That's right. Come on, Rail. Give up already. Ikeda! What are you thinking? Do you really think I'm the killer? Well, no. no. I just wanted to tie you up because wait, I have issues. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> we, first of all, yeah, you know. Wait a minute. Never wait. take an opportunity, never miss an opportunity to tie up a pretty woman. And second of all, <laughs> don't, don't take that out of context. <laughs> and second of all, we're trying to entrap the actual killer. That's what we're thinking. You idiot! Someone else is the killer. What? She just became a totally different person. Do you mean she's been acting this whole time? Yes. It appears Ikeda's reasoning was right. Ikeda, don't listen to her. Mm. She's trying to get into your head. Real killers always say things like that. Yeah, what? real killers always profess their innocence, but then so do innocent people too. Quit fooling around. You'll regret this. You're all going to be killed by the real killer. Nanako, keep an eye on Rail for me. 
Huh? What? Me? I, I think there are others here who do a better job. Everyone else, please come here. I have an idea I want to discuss with the three of you. An idea? What are we going to do? Torture her until she talks? Close, but no cigar. We're going to reveal the killer's identity. What? You're making zero sense right now, Ikeda. What? All right, I've got her. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> this was all planned. Ah! Y you! Wait. Not minding this. <laughs> Rail on top of yourself. It's just a bit like, uh. blase. Like, she doesn't seem to give a shit. Calm down, Akira. Like Rail isn't the killer. Uh, well, I think that's a bit, that's supposed to be her version of surprise. Huh. What? What do you mean? Uh, um, I'm not. Oh, uh. Um, I'm so not following what's going on here. What is going on here? Judging from the murders, it was obvious that the killer is a well-trained professional. It would have been difficult to neutralize them if they had been on their guard. That's why I had to play a trick on them. I was confused when Ikeda started to tie me up, but then he whispered his little plan into my ear. The rope was loosely tied, so I could easily escape and sneak up on Giselle. Looks like your plan worked, Ikeda. You could have told me in advance. I, I was startled when Rail suddenly stopped. But Ikeda, you didn't need to tell everyone that I'm an undercover agent. <laughs> I had to. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have been able to fool the killer. I need a good reason to incriminate you and distract the real killer, so revealing your true identity was my best bet. I love it when a plan comes together. What? Is he not? Is he gonna? Is he gonna pretend that he didn't just pull this all out of his ass? <laughs> You're making a mistake. I'm not the killer, and I didn't kill anyone. You're pretty calm, aren't you, Giselle Reed? Anyone else would lose their composure in such a situation. This calmness. She has the composure of an assassin. Or a yep. well-trained servant. But Ikeda, do you have any concrete evidence that proves she's the killer? Please don't tell me that this is just a hunch. Uh, of course. I will explain everything. Let me tell you how Sir Raymond and Thomas were murdered, and why I'm certain that Giselle is the killer. Also, Cue the explanation music. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. First of all, let's talk about the murder of Sir Raymond. Sir Raymond's estimated time of death was around 2am on the day we all arrived on the island. Sir Raymond didn't show up in the dining hall. Uh, I surmised from a mysterious moaning that Alex and I had both heard that Sir Raymond was most likely tied up in the room next to mine at noon on the first day. As evidence of this, I found Sir Raymond's handkerchief in the room next to mine. In other words, the killer had used this room as a secret meeting place where they restrained Sir Raymond. But wait a minute! Why did they go out of their way to set up a meeting in that specific room right next to yours? Good point. Isn't that strange? You're right. I was wondering about that as well. Luring and capturing Sir Raymond there. The killer must have used some kind of ruse to catch Sir Raymond's attention. So I thought about how everyone's rooms were allocated. Wait. Uh, there was something strange about it. The killer had chosen the allocation of the rooms. That allocation must mean something. Wait, the killer chose the allocation of the rooms? Oh, for the killer. Giselle's a guest. Yeah, what? How the rooms were allocated? I never thought of that. As I've said before, all windows can be opened from the outside as well. There is no need to be afraid of intruders on this island. The killer took advantage of that. She'd snuck into the room through the window before Sir Raymond arrived. Sir Raymond let his guard down because he had Abby sweep the room first. 
So Abby checked and told him that the room was empty. So Raymond entered it with his guard down. He was restrained by the killer who had sneaked into the room earlier. Wait, but there are always strong winds on the island. It shouldn't be so easy to sneak in from outside. The only way that can be done is by abseiling with a rope. Did the killer really manage to do that? Hmm, I guess we'll have to ask Neniko and her photographic memory about this. What? Me? Yes. You're about to fall out of your window around the same time that Sir Raymond was captured. Do you remember everything you saw then? Was there something like a rope hanging outside of this room? Forcing me to remember that terrible moment. Uh, how cruel. I, I really don't want to, but I, I don't have a choice. Uh, a, a rope was definitely hanging along the wall, but it was the same colour as the wall, so I couldn't see it well. What? Oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. You're still here with us. You're safe. I'm never doing this ever again. I see. So it's possible that the killer used a rope to sneak into the room. Wait. In that case, the killer would have been staying directly above the vacant room where Sir Raymond was captured. But that was Jacob's room. Yes. That's what I thought. That's why I, th I was beginning to think, Jacob. How can Giselle have been the killer? Oh, I see. So that's what the moving of the rooms was for. Uh, Jacob was definitely a suspect too. But then the following occurred to me. What is it? The wind. It's so strong that it can make you fall down if you open the window even a little bit. The wind of this island is blowing very strongly from right to left. If you abseil, you'll be swept to the left. The killer knew this from experience. This is why she didn't pick the room directly above it. She picked the room that was further to the right. Get the f How are we supposed to know that? Did they ever talk about that? I mean, they talk about the winds. Did they That's ever say what, what direction? The but the wind's I mean, blowing in the opposite. You can make it from the... <laughs> you can surmise from the windows. What? What way the wind's blowing? It's blowing yeah. from left to right, but that doesn't match his what he's talking about. No, right to left when you're facing from the inside of the room outside, uh, uh, looking outwards. Yeah, right to left, but when we're looking at the plan, he's saying that she went... <clears throat> Let's look at the... Wait, can we look at the thing again? So she took the wind into account. Certainly, it would be difficult to get down to a room right below you if there was always such a strong wind blowing. That's my fucking line, man. Which shit is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, considering the strength of that wind, she could have exited the bathroom window and then entered the room to the left underneath her. Wait a minute. But, but she could perhaps have also managed to do so from the room directly above it, right? Indeed. So, the list of suspects is narrowed down to either Jacob or Giselle. This is only a guess, but I think the killer knew how to descend from one room to another from past experience. Past experience? Anyway, now let's consider the next case. Thomas's murder. Thanks to <laughs> Nenico and Alice's <laughs> testimonies. Oh god, this fucking picture. I found out that the bridge was warm at the time. Wait a minute. And there's no aurora. Not this time, no. So, what happened there? Jacob used the words transparent killer. The victim was killed around noon, and Thomas himself didn't notice anything. So, what I arrive at is... Burning ethanol. Okay. Wait, I could have sworn we did talk about burning... Alcohol, some, some sort. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Ethanol? The killer poured ethanol onto the bridge and then set it on fire. They set the whole fucking bridge on fire? They had a lot of ethanol. Why did no one else notice? Remember how we stunk of alcohol when we went back to... Um, yeah. So that's that was the ethanol on the bridge. I yeah, thought it I was something to do with the ethanol the, when we got drinks for... Um, when we got drinks for Jacob, Jacob yeah. yeah. And we were running up and down. Speaking of ethanol, there was certainly a lot of rectified spirit in the wine cellar. 
Oh, okay. Rectified spirit is a liquor with a strength of 95 to 96 degrees. It's almost pure ethanol. Oh, is Holy it? Shit, man. Well, now you tell us, fuck's sake. But wait a minute. Even if the bridge was set on fire, nothing happened to me when I walked over the bridge. Does it, does it, does the fire go off as the fire flames invisible? When you burn ethanol. Um, I've heard of some kind of jet fuel that burns invisibly. I don't know about ethanol. Hmm. How can Giselle be the killer? I don't think she had the chance to set it on fire. Giselle set it on fire when she went back to get her notebook. The bridge was already on fire when you crossed it. What? How is that even possible? Yeah, what the fuck? The murder was committed at midday when the sun was high. It's difficult to see pure ethanol burning in full sunlight. Because of that, you probably didn't notice any fire. So because he didn't notice any fire, he didn't get burnt? That's how that works. <laughs> Fucking... This is what a transparent killer really means. Don't worry, if my room starts burning, I'll just ignore it. Also, we all know that the drainage is terrible on that bridge. The ethanol remained on the bridge for a long time, and it only appeared to be a puddle. But in that case, why was Thomas the only one who was burned and not I? Yes. We both crossed the bridge. There were several <laughs> factors that led to Thomas' death. The first is that Thomas's clothes were made of hemp and flammable. What, did did we know this? I'm going to assume that we always could tell that the clothes were flammable. Wait a minute! No, his clothes weren't all that burned when he was fucking. Yeah, it would have all went up in flames. What the fuck is he talking about? It just burnt right at his extremities. But there is one more thing that makes this a well thought out murder method. What is that? The iron doors. Why was it so important for the killer to close the iron doors, even though she would risk exposing herself? In fact, the iron doors played an essential part in Thomas's murder. But why were they essential? Ah, uh, you, you mean the wheels? Exactly. Thomas had to stop on the bridge to turn the wheel. This took some time, and after a while, the fire ignited his suit. Ah, I see. In my case, I opened the door from the guest room building side when I crossed the bridge, so I didn't catch fire. To think that I could have ended up just like Thomas. Wait, wait. You still crossed the bridge, so if you walk across the bridge, you will not catch fire. You have to, like, be standing in the fire for a while for before it would catch fire on your clothes. I'm and thinking it's not a very big fire. <laughs> but also, Thomas's face, his head was all burnt. Like his clothes weren't all that. I mean, I think the limbs were burnt severely, but the rest of his clothes weren't all that bad. We even found a fucking card in his clothes. Is this how ethanol burns? Is this like scientifically accurate? But how the fuck is a, a layman supposed to have thought, figured this out? This just seems a. Oh, I don't know. Senikeda, badass. That isn't enough to convince me. Some ethanol can't cause such serious burns. Yes. How do you explain that? It would be easy to imagine if you were in Thomas's shoes. He was fat as fuck, and so the fat ignited. <laughs> as he was turning the wheel, he suddenly felt the heat underneath his feet. Surprised by the fire, Thomas panicked and tried to extinguish the fire. That's when he saw that vase in the corridor. The face. I remember what? that phrase was broken, and I, I, I was the wondering face. what that. Well, first of all, I couldn't remember what it was, but I remember something was lying broken on the floor next to the body, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck it used to be because, again, I had nothing to refer to in the past. I don't remember any of this. I remember, I, I remember something being here. I didn't know what it was, but when we, whenever we walked past this area after Thomas's death, or when we saw his body. There was some broken rubble stuff around here hmm. and it always bugged me so when you were um, investigating his body you could see it and it, it was like in the top corner or something like that that there was rubble and it wouldn't like you click on it and it wouldn't fucking say what it is and i'm just like what wait what is that isn't that important hmm. the vase wait did the killer anticipate thomas's behavior and put more ethanol into the vase 
How could they have foreseen that? It would explain the severity of his burns, though. Wait, they put more ethanol in the vase. How would that necessarily... So Thomas, on fire, thought, Ah, water! And he gets the... Oh. <laughs> and he pulls on himself and it goes oh. up in fire. Oh, that's fucking cruel. That's comical as well. <laughs> Oh my god. Thomas wanted to extinguish the fire with the water in the vase, but burned himself to death instead. But would that... You, <laughs> you'd pour it on your whole body, right? So wouldn't your clothes on the on, on your whole body go and not just at the extremities? Ah! Fire! Ah! Pour water! Ah no! More fire! <laughs> Am I right? Is this what happened? Giselle? It certainly is an amusing theory. But it all sounds like speculation to me. Perhaps the murders were carried out as you described, but you can't tie me to any of them. The testimony about the rope hanging outside the guest room building was vague, and anyone could have set the bridge on fire. <laughs> she appears to be right. The testimony about the rope is vague at best, and I can't conclude that Giselle was the one who poured ethanol onto the bridge. Uh, uh, I want to crawl into a dark cave now. Besides, if Giselle really is the killer, she might have had an accomplice. Uh, Akira! Uh, uh, uh. Ikeda. Giselle is Akira's attendant, so Akira might have helped her in one way or another. What do you have to say about this? What the hell? Stop talking nonsense! <laughs> I love Akira. <laughs> I know, right? I'm telling you that neither Giselle nor I are the killer. The killer has to be someone else! Man. What do you think, Ikeda? Do you have any concrete evidence? Of course he's going to pull something out his arse. Allow me to produce another <laughs> turd. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I guess I will have to go back to the beginning. Why did the killer use such strange methods to kill someone in the first place? It's strange if you think about it. There are better and easier ways to kill someone, aren't there? There's one explanation. The killer already knew what they would do before coming here. Already knew, which means they knew the victims. That's right. Jacob once told me that Thomas's death was similar to something he'd seen before, and that the killer had to be a woman. For some reason, but he wouldn't explain himself further. Wait a minute, did he say that? He did. He did say something like that. I remember that. I remember that he'd seen it before, but I don't remember him saying the killer was a woman. I think he did say that, and I was like, what? But then so much shit happened after that, we kind of forgot about it. Huh. My guess is that the killer had witnessed something in the past that was similar to the way Thomas was murdered, or they may even have experienced it. It's possible that these murders were revenge murders. If that's the case, then what Jacob said would make a lot of sense. It also explains why he didn't want to talk about the murder method. Hang on a second. I see. Also, why didn't Jacob just tell me about this? He just hinted towards this shit and he wouldn't tell me who he thought the murderer was. Because he's a fucking idiot and now he's dead. But do you have any proof that Giselle survived and escaped from this island? Did we find anything in the records? Remember we looked through the records when we were down in the underground thing? Uh, yes, but I don't remember Giselle. No, Nanako just read through it, but she didn't. Giselle's obviously uh, not her actual name. How would we... Uh... Hmm. And is there any evidence that proves Akira isn't an accomplice? Well, of course. We can find out the answers by examining what Akira has said before. Huh? The first thing that stood out to me was that Giselle didn't want to take a bath with Akira. Perhaps she thought it wouldn't be appropriate, as she is Akira's attendant after all. However, there could be another reason. Giselle didn't want to take a bath with Akira because she wanted to hide the burns on her body. Oh, did I not say something like that? I didn't mean burns, yeah, but I was like as scars. I was like, yeah, maybe but she like has a joke. Did I say it's a joke? I know. I think I was like, maybe she has scars or something. What are you talking about? There's no way. Akira also said that when we found Thomas's body, Giselle kept her away from the door. It seems like a casual act, but it also takes on a completely different meaning when considering everything else. When Akira and Giselle got to the bridge, there was still a fire burning on it. Giselle realized this, so she quickly moved Akira away from the door. 
If my guess is right, there should be an old burn scars on Giselle's legs, and new burn marks as well. If what you said was right, Akira wouldn't have been her accomplice. If Akira had been her accomplice, she wouldn't have talked about those things. Hmm. Looks like we've came to the breaking point of uh, Phoenix, right? Do you know the bit where the uh, the accused starts breaking down and revealing their true nature? Well, I mean, Giselle is still super calm. She hasn't started breaking down in the slightest yet. The music has calmed down for this point. Alex, could I ask you to tear Giselle's stockings and check her legs? With pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Alex is a girl, though. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? We're going to ask. Real doesn't know this. Doesn't matter, man. My hands are kind of full right now. Are we going to see ripped stockings? Oof. No, I don't think we will. M me? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Giselle. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> There really are burn scars, as well as recent burns! I concur. Those are burn marks. Old scars as well as recent burns. That proves it then. I mean... Not to us, though. Not we necessarily. Don't see I don't know. Where the fuck how do you see this? Giselle. No. Killer. Will you finally admit your crimes? Hmm. No way! Tell me that he's lying! Giselle! I can't believe it. I didn't think you'd be able to discover the truth with so little evidence. Sen Ikida, it looks like I've underestimated your dumbass. Everyone gasps as Giselle's tone of voice suddenly changes. Oh shit, I better do a different one. Giselle, are you really a survivor from this island? Why did you kill them? Was it for revenge? You won't be able to understand even if I explained it to you. Everything <laughs> I had... <laughs> Everything was taken away by Shirnagasu Island. You've just given her, like, Sedicada's voice. Oh, what, man? Fuck off. <laughs> the people I killed were horrible men who had coming for a very long time. I have no regrets ending their lives. My only regret is that I couldn't kill Jacob Grutland with my own hands. Giselle, what do the people from the mansion want from you? What's your bargaining chip? Something I was given by someone when I had to leave everything behind here. My trump card for revenge. However, the people from the mansion want to use it to control the world. <laughs> it's the fucking demon of Shirnagasa Island, the lamest fucking zombie around. We need to control the world. Control the world? Please give it to us, Giselle. No. <laughs> <laughs> my revenge is almost complete. I won't allow you to get in my way. I don't think you quite understand the situation you're in, you're in here with torn stockings. I want to see this torn stocking. This is, I am quite annoyed that they didn't get that. It's the second time and we ain't gotten it, man. I'm not as meek as you thought, and I'll get what I need by any means. Ooh, she's going to fight back. And now you're talking just like me. Aurora! What? Uh, what? The Who, fuck? What? Where? When? Why? How? What? Uh, <coughs> what? What was that shrieking? Oh my god! Oh my That's... god! <laughs> oh my! That's hilarious. Do you know what this means? I do know what this means. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> 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 Bro, what's going on here? Hi. <laughs> fight! This is fight music. What the? That's the. That's that creature. Why is it here? <laughs> it, it's the demon of Shiranagasa Island. Uh. No, Aurora. You can't eat them now. Get me out of here. You're not going anywhere. Don't move. Don't any of you dare move a muscle. Wait, what, what the, the fuck is that? A suitcase. Otherwise, you're all going to die. What do you mean? I have a parting gift for you. Handle it with care. 
If you have miraculous knowledge and amazing luck, you might be able to make it through this alive. <laughs> Giselle, listen to me! Are you really the killer? So, our relationship was just a lie. Giselle! No. Nope. Hmm. Yes, it was all a lie. Everything. I'm just a liar. Wait, she was the one that uh, chucked the snake in? Yeah, as you thought. Yeah, called it. Well, at least I called that. That's what she needs to do while going out the window. She'll be like, and it was me who threw the snake. It was me all along. <laughs> eh! Well, ah, wait. Giselle grabs Akira and the creature holds what? both as it disappears. I have, wait the fuck. Oh, no, she's been kidnapped. Oh, shit. I run to the window and look outside. I can only see the back of the creature running toward the main building. Got away. Must have already made it to the main building. Ikeda, how shit are you, man? You had her! You had her! <laughs> you even pinned her down and everything! That's Rail's no. fault, though. Rail kicked her out, didn't she? Uh, that's impossible! Jumping across across cliffs that high while carrying two people! There's a monster. So that was the monster, the demon of Shuranagasa Island. Why? Why did Giselle call the creature Aurora? That's the name of the girl I saw. Dar, what's going on? Has he not figured this out? Um, I don't want to spoil this moment, but... The bag Giselle left behind. I have a very bad feeling about it. Should we just leave it there? So, I'm assuming that Giselle, like, cares for left. Akira, which is why she's taken her. Because whatever yeah. she's left us is probably an explosive. Yeah, it's gonna be a bomb, and in, in, you know, in which case, just fuck the bag and leave. Wait, can't we just chuck the bag out the window? Yeah. <laughs> she, she left us with a warning and also left a bag here. Let's take a look inside. Is it a bomb? It's definitely possible. But nobody would be stupid enough to try to defuse a bomb at a time like this. Alex, Neneko, get out of here now. I, I think Neneko has been paralyzed with fear. I'm a bit nauseous and my knees are shaking as well. Uh, this isn't a joke. I, I've lost all strength in my legs. I, I can't stand. That monster was too much for me. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeesh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'll carry you. <laughs> oh, not now, wizards! <laughs> the, f <laughs> the phone is ringing. Ikeda, just ignore it. We have to get out of here right now. They're just trying to slow us down. No, man, they're not going to be phoning us. That <laughs> that'd be hilarious. The phone is going, ah, you're still there. <laughs> bye bye. No. Just checking. Leaving here might be a mistake. I should pick up the phone. Do you know what I'm reminded of during um, uh, the crab battle video from all those years ago? When Snake's being attacked by the crab and then he gets a random call from someone who's completely unrelated going, Oli, Oli, Oli! Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> who's this? Akira? Akira! Don't go outside! Huh? Akira, uh, is that you? Are you alright? There's an explosive outside. It's been armed! Don't go outside! Weird. Calm down. What happened to Giselle? What explosive? Giselle! She left me behind! But enough about her! There's an explosive! Giselle planted an explosive on that iron door, so don't open it! Oh. oh. On the iron door? Are you sure? It was like a square box. Giselle told me that if anyone opens the door, it'll explode. Akira, where are you now? In the dining hall. I'm calling from there. Ikeda, I'm scared. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know what to do. It's okay. Don't worry. We're fucked. <laughs> I'm going to take Here care of this right away, and after that, I'll come to get you. For now, turn off the lights and hide in the shadows. Wait, what? Bad idea, man. Aurora's gonna come after you. Why? Why would you do that? Wait! Don't hang up! Please! I'm scared! Talking on the phone is too dangerous. Just hide, okay? He's gonna hang up, ain't he? What a fucking dickhead! <laughs> he has, look, he's got a bomb there that he has to worry about anyway, so... Priorities. Ikeda, she's in a very dangerous situation. If Akira is right, an explosive has been planted on the iron door. 
knowing how well trained Giselle is, we'll have to deal with the bomb here first. Rel, do you have any experience with bomb disposal? I'm a fucking doctor! Well, I have studied bomb making fundamentals, I might be able to handle it. Uh, just clip the red wires. I also have some tools that can be used for dismantling bombs, but they were originally designed for breaking things, so don't expect too much from them. Handy. Good enough for me. Neneko, you should go to Akira's room with Alex. If this bomb explodes, the room the farthest away from here may be safe. Uh, no, I'll stay here to help. I don't need someone who becomes paralyzed as soon as she sees a monster. Be a good girl and move as far away from here as you can. But we're supposed to be together, besides... If you die, how can the rest of us survive? But don't forget that I am your partner. Geesh. You're making me feel guilty. All right. That whole geesh translation is so fucking awkward. Yeah, it's annoying every time it comes up. And the fact that you pointed it out to me now makes it more annoying because like, I, I notice it more. I'll let you help How did me. you not notice it before? I just, I don't know. It didn't bother me as much, but... Um, can I leave? <laughs> can you, uh, if you are going to be uh, fucking saviors, can I just fuck off and uh, not be in the bomb explosion area? I know, right? Are you kidding me? Alex, you're a man, aren't you? Mm, you're assuming a lot there, Rel. You have to show that you're less afraid than this little girl. Stay here and help me. I mean, Rel is a woman, so... Um, actually, I'm a girl. What a stupid joke. I'll make you dismantle the bomb first if you say something stupid like that. Yeah, it's probably not the right time to like be like going over this detail just now. I wasn't joking. Well, it looks like our fates are now bound together. Alright, I have everything I need. Let's take care of this bomb. Oh my god, I've just realized this is going to be a save it, save mini it, save game. It. It's going to it. be a mini game. Ah. Oh! All right. All right, don't be nervous. Oh shit, that was real. Overthinking this will just stress me out. Wait, if this is real, you should do this. I am. How can I do no, this? I, man? I, You're I, the one with the game. <laughs> you do this. I have to open this bag to start dismantling. No, hang on. He's taking instructions from Rel. What should I do? Can I open it slowly? There might be several booby traps. Opening the bag could set off the first of them. You know what this reminds me of? Have you seen the game Keep Talking uh, and Everyone Explodes or something like that? I've heard of this game, but I've not played it. It's a great game. Uh, you have to... One person... It's two players. Or, like, many people. But you have two sides. One side is bomb disposal, and that's the person with the bomb. One side is, uh, like, the man they have the manual of, bomb oh, of how to d I think I watched bombs. Yahtzee play this. With the game. Ah, right, okay. Yes. Right, yeah. So you have to describe over a long distance how to defuse the bomb. But the person who's actually defusing the bomb can't have the bomb disposal manual. Yeah, so the one guy has the manual and talks through it, and the other person has to dispose has it listening bomb, to yeah. their instructions. Yeah. Okay, right. Right? Maybe we can uh, maybe we can do that on a stream sometime. Oh, my anyway. God. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so bad. Right. I'll have to be able to see what I'm doing, though. I'll have to open this bag. The bag is shaped rather oddly. It doesn't look like a normal bag. It's just a fucking strap. You're right, it's square. It doesn't have any patterns, and it looks different than an ordinary bag. I see this shit all the time at Sports Direct. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are they talking about? Hey, I think it's a thermal bag made by Super Thermos. It cuts off the outside airflow so it can keep things cold for quite a long time. I read good reviews about this online. A thermal bag, huh? Definitely something Giselle would use. She must have chosen this bag for a reason. Maybe there's a temperature sensor inside. That could be the case. If there's a really... Um, if there really is a temperature sensor, it could detect sudden temperature swings. Wait, I'm beginning to think, how the fuck are they going to have this gameplay in this game? Like, what are we supposed to do? Because, like, temperature sensors and all sorts of shit that we're supposed to, like... They're just going to choose options on how they handle it. It's the same gameplay that's been in it so far, choosing options. You'll get three options on how to handle it. Mm, I hope so. If you open the bag right now, it may result in an explosion. Explosion! What should we do then? 
Do we turn up the heater to raise the room temperature? We don't know what temperature this bag is, so it might be better to deactivate the sensor itself instead. Uh... The temperature sensor is probably a long rod-shaped piece of metal. You might be able to cut the wires that extend from it. One second. I don't yeah, see anything. Yeah, I was thinking maybe there's an outline. No. Cut it. What? Me? To tell you the truth, I've never dismantled a bomb before. I feel embarrassed telling you this, but my hands are trembling. Also, I'd prefer you, Senikida, to be in the blast radius rather than me when this goes off. <laughs> also, in a matter of life and death, who gives a shit what's embarrassing or not? Like we mentioned before, and I'm sure we talked about this in one of the fucking streams, like, if the monster's attacking and we're butt naked in the shower, we're I'll running I'll fucking run into... I'll run in yeah. front of a massive crowd. I got a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking big-ass monsters coming your way. Who gives a shit if your dick's hanging out? <laughs> you can see my dick, but I ain't gonna have my fucking ass <laughs> fucking taken by the monster. <laughs> you uh. can probably do this much more steadily than I can. Oh, right. I'll unzip the bag first. Zip. Don't let any air flow into it. What? Okay, apparently... Oh my god! I'm taking that zip sound effect. <laughs> I know what you fucking want that for. <laughs> okay. Unzipped. Hey, Kida, don't you understand the meaning of being careful? I thought I was about to be blown to pits. Hey, you're still in one piece. <laughs> no big deal. Next up is the temperature sensor. Alright, if there really is one, you'll only have about five seconds to cut its wires after you open the bag. It has to be done quickly, she says slowly. Don't touch anything except for the sensor wiring, alright? A vibration detector may be triggered otherwise. A metal bar sensor. Cut the wire extending from it. Don't touch anything else. Alright, piece of cake, I hope. All right, get to work then. This going to be a time sensitive thing. Oh, fuck. Ah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be time sensitive. Retry. Retry. <laughs> you bastard. Here's what actually happened. <laughs> you motherfucker. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Whoa, what just happened? I just feel the feeling of deja vu. <laughs> oh, yes, I was trying to dismantle the bomb. All right, no problem at all. Let's do it. <laughs> Why do I why do I feel so uneasy? I think I just had a flashback in which the bomb explodes, killing us. Do you know what? I like this. That they're actually imagine uh, they're actually addressing it. They're like, Whoa, that was weird. Of course, that's easy to imagine. Right, wait, it was about here, wasn't it? Hang on, did you really see that? Eesh enough killing me talk. Start diffusing it already. This fucking game. No problemo. Eesh. There's no way this can go wrong. It's all peachy. I've got this. I have to remove the temperature sensor first. Oh, right. Cut the wire extending from the metal bar. Don't touch anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here goes nothing. Ah, ah, fuck. Wait. W what the fuck? You clicked the same part. Was it not that one? <laughs> that was the same part you clicked the first time. <laughs> right, give me a second. Let's fucking restart. Look, don't worry about the red bar going all the way. You've got all the red bar. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Man. <laughs> oh, I thought I just ran out of time. Right. Which one is it? This. Not that one. <laughs> I'm fucking Here we suck. Go. I'm fucking suck at this. Wait, 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 wait. Go over her fucking description. There's a metal bar. There are wires coming from it. Yeah, it was that bar at the end. I thought. Yeah, I know. But let's see. L let's have a good look at it first, okay? okay. Don't worry about the fucking time bar. You've metal got the bar. whole time Don't touch. bar. All right, here goes nothing. Where, right. is, yeah, where is it? Uh, bottom. That? Oh, I can't fucking click on it. Oh, motherfucker. I was clicking that. I was just clicking at the right... Fuck this game. <laughs> I was clicking the right thing from the very beginning, but at the wrong point or some shit. Stupid game. Yeah. Did it work? Looks like you did it. Oh, only the fifth time. That was a close call. There really was a temperature sensor. If I hadn't thought of that in advance, we'd all be pushing up daisies now. Funny you should say that. I don't want to hear that. I'm becoming so nervous. Can I go somewhere else? Hey, when you called me a scaredy cat earlier, what's it going to be? I think I'm about to puke and pee myself at the same time. 
Holy shit, that's bad. Me, me too. I'm about to faint. What the fuck is this? Oh, we'll find out later. All right, now for the bomb itself. The temperature sensor on the left has now been deactivated. On the box in the middle, I can see an LED counter, a matrix display, and a numeric keypad. Hmm. You need to open the box on the right to see how the bomb works. The box on the right. All right. The center and right boxes appear to be connected by red, blue, and yellow wires. Yep. This is a very advanced bomb. It's not going to be easy. I'm impressed. This is probably made in uh, Red Pie, so they've put in some proper logic in here. Oh, shit. Uh, let the game begin! What the fuck is this? Fucking... The oh, saw. this reminds me that I, this reminds me that I need to play some nonary games. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's fucking just like that. It appears that the game is afoot. Darn, I've underestimated her. This is not just a diversion. This was actually made to kill us all. Uh, Good thing you're immortal. Giselle, how could she? She's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Look who's talking. <laughs> and I'm, oh, shut up, Ikeda. Also, but I'm not complaining either of you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. At any rate, we only have five minutes left. We have to dismantle this bomb before then. What should I do next? Disable the vibration detector. Is that the vibration detector? Do you see a, a cylindrical device at the top? Yeah, that's it. I wouldn't call that... Yeah, fuck Your it. time is going, mate. No, it's not. Oh, shit. Yeah, I do. Metal rods in the middle appear to be vibrating. Uh, wait. That's the vibration detector. If the bag shakes even slightly, the metal rods will touch the cylinder, making the bomb explode. It's a simple device, but you can't let your guard down. To disable this, you can harden the inside of the cylinder with a fixing agent. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like that here. Then what should I do? Perhaps we could use a viscous fluid instead of a fixing agent. Uh, Don't worry, mate. Every man carries his own stylo. Hey, we got time. Time. <laughs> Maybe we can find something we can use oh, in this room. Oh, for fuck's sake. A viscous fluid, for example, honey. Now is not the time to be slacking off. You have to find something as fast as possible. <laughs> They said now's not the time to be jacking off. I'm counting on you. I'll be ready to inject the viscous fluid as soon as you find it. Everyone, split up and oh, look for something for usable. Fuck's sake, viscous liquid, viscous liquid. Well, you heard the lady. I want both of you to look for a viscous liquid. Uh, All right. I feel as if I'm under pressure. All right, then let's look around. Fucking hell. Go to the bathroom. There might be something there, like shampoo or something. Uh, 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 the bathroom. I mean, yes. Uh, that stuff. Hang on. I might be able to use this. Liquid soap, that's this vicious. Perhaps this will do. Let's go back to rail. Miss me? Find this. Hmm. I see liquid soap. Certainly looks viscous. I'll pour it into the syringe with the needle removed. All right. No. Now carefully and slowly squeeze the liquid soap into the chamber. Wait, what is it? Is it to this thing? Or this no, thing? No, no, no. The thing that you were looking at, yeah. That, okay. You can do this. Carefully, all right. Oh, I guess that was right. All right, it worked. Vibrations will no longer be able to set off the bomb. I have goosebumps all over. But if I can't sense the vibrations, why don't we just throw it out the window? <laughs> I know. I don't recommend doing that. In addition to the vibration sensor, it could also have oh, an accelerometer. fucking hell. Giselle would have installed one for sure. Fucking. We don't have a choice. We need to dismantle it. Stupid game. Completely. All right, I guess I'll just have to see this through until the end. No rest for the hell. half time left. Indeed, now let's get on with it. We still don't know how much about the box in the centre. Let's deal with the box on the right first. Screwdriver! Right, I've done screw. Alright, let's take a walk like a walk in the park. Looks to me deceiving. If you move them in the wrong order, the bomb might explode. What the fuck? You've got to be kidding. Alright, so what do I do? Let's see, remove the screws in the following order. Lower left, upper right, low upper left, lower right. Lower so, lower uh, left, oh. upper right. So X pattern. What well, alright. It's right. my hunch. If you're feeling lucky, you can remove them in any order instead. Right. Lower left, upper right, then upper left, oh, lower right. Ah, fucking yes! Sorry, not I, I wasn't saying to you. Yeah, I yeah, saying, yeah, I know, I know. This game! Shut up! <laughs> Just let me... Uh, fucking... No, no, no. It's oh, oh. What did I do I wrong? You, it's the other one. It was the upper left one next. Ready oh, try? Yeah, fucking game. Gonna start from the beginning. Uh... Are you fucking joking? Seriously? Yeah. 
I knew it was going to do this. Fucking game. Let the game begin. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Wait, where's this? Discus fluid. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you do. You do. You be useless. Yes. No, nope. well, I didn't even have to click on it. Alright, wait, wait, hang on. Screws are top left. No, sorry. Bottom left. Lower left, upper right. Upper right, and then upper, upper left, left, lower right. Right, okay. I bet you fucked this up again. Right? Don't, please, don't. <laughs> this one first. Yep, and then the top right. She says it, look, upper right. Oh. Because we were really tight for time the last time. And then the left one. Oh, I guess she didn't say it that time. And the last one. Flat room will get you nowhere. Pay extra attention to this one. Ah. This screw, turn it clockwise. What, tighten it? The fuck? Clockwise? So you want me to turn the screw in the opposite direction? Why? The direction in which the screw is turned may cause the bomb to explode. A trigger device has been attached to the screw. I can feel it. Get the fuck out, Rel. Is that your intu intuition talking? Or your knowledge? She said she's never done bomb dispo uh, disposal before, and she's like, wait a minute, I can sense this bomb. Lower right of the screw is slightly worn. It's highly possible that the screw head was turned to test the explosion caused by the screw's rotation. Only my intuition. I'll leave it up to you. But how is it tested? If it was tested to explode it, which direction should I turn the screw? Clockwise or counterclockwise? I would listen to her. Uh, that one opposite. Okay, I'll turn it in the opposite direction. I'm scared of God. Don't pray to God. Believe in Akeda's choice. Nice. The screw is pretty tight. Bang. All right, it's out. The opposite direction was correct after all. Okay, remove the plate carefully. Slowly. I don't say that slowly. All right, fuck. What the fuck is this? It looks like the wires behind my fucking computer. Hmm? Wow, the view the opposite direction was correct after all. If you had turned it in the regular direction, the wire would have been cut and the bomb would detonate. Yeah, yeah, that was a close call. Meh. But now we have to deal with something else. The small box on the top left underneath the acrylic plate is the main part of the detonator. If you cut the two wires that are connected to it, you can stop the bomb. Cut the two wires. Cut the two wires that run from the small box at the top left to the bottom. Small box on the top left? What? Top, uh, there, do you see underneath the yellow thing? Oh, right. That. Those two wires. Yeah, so you've got to be careful. All of the wires running from bottom right are trapped. Cutting any of Cutting those. any of those will make the bomb detonate. Do not cut any of those. Wait, which ones Absolutely. are we cutting? The, the ones which are running from that. Yeah, so you see where your mouse is. Yeah. That one. And that one. Figure oh, out where the, those go through that fucking mess of spaghetti right, and second. get there. That goes like that, that. So that's that middle one, right? And that one yeah. goes like that, that, that. Where the fuck is this? Right, those two. Okay. Middle and the second from the right. Yeah. Yeah, cut the right wire. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one more wire. Yeah, get fucked. Whoa! All right, we yes. did it. Wait, is it still going? Oh, fuck. All right, now the right box should be safe. All that remains is a center box. One plus one. Wait, was that a plus? Yeah. Uh, don't... I don't know. It might be one of Giselle's tricks. Is it 11? Maybe we need to type something with a numeric num keypad. That's really ridiculous. The wrong answer may make the bomb explode. Well, I think it's two, but no, considering the murders I've seen so far, she likes to make her victims suffer as they die. May I have to enter a code to defuse the bomb. You might be right. We need to enter some numbers and hit the enter key. One plus one equals question mark. That shouldn't be a problem even for you, Kada. Easy. The answer is three. What? I'm just kidding. Don't look at me like that. Right. Uh, don't right, don't uh, make answers. The right answer is two. Right. Shut up. Oh, no. Fuck. All right. I'll enter it. Just right. Two. He said he'll put in two. So put in two. Did I? I can't fucking. I don't know what you've done. Ah, oh, fucking hell. You put in 22, didn't you? Because it didn't give me... God, fuck this game. <laughs> fuck. Oh. <laughs> this game hates me. 
Right. Right, while you're doing this, I'm going to go get a Coke. I wonder if we really should give the correct answer. So I guess the right answer is good. But how long do I have to keep doing this? It's taking way too much time. I have a feeling that she's only playing with us. Time will eventually I'm back. Alright, well, read, read, read. I have a strong feeling that she's only playing with us. Time will eventually run out. I put enter to. Wait, fuck! What the? Oh my god! Next. Is that his fucking integral? Next question. Aha, I see, I see. You're up. You're up. <laughs> Don't just assume that I have all the answers. Is this a trick or my trick for integral problems? I'm sorry, math is not my forte. I can't remember jack shit. This would even be difficult for someone's Alex, someone Alex's age. Rel, you're an adult. Show us what you can do. I told you, stop assuming that I have all the answers. I mean, you don't know this either, do you? Why don't you solve this yourself, Ikeda? Is it zero? Oh, it I says here, uh, as the integral of zero approaches n, sine x dx. So the integral of sine. Uh oh! I already know the answer, but I won't let you take credit for it. Try Wait a minute. Think this. The answer is two. It's not even difficult. Just enter. I don't want to die because of your stupidity. Ding ding! We have a winner. Yes, the answer is two. Well done, Nico. That is correct. Just type it in. It was the correct answer. Dying now would have sucked. I'm glad Nico is here. <clears throat> I think we're just going around in circles. We might be able to defuse the bomb by cutting one of the three wires that connect the center box to the right box. But we don't know which of the wires to cut, so we'll be flying blind. Red, looks like we'll just have to gamble. But most bombs only have two wires. One red and one blue, right? What does it mean if there's a yellow wire as well? Earth? Just there to reduce our chance of defusing it. Or perhaps there's another reason, like traffic lights. What do these colors mean? Fuck knows. Red, yellow, blue. There's something familiar about that. I don't know, man. What was happening? The countdown stopped. Does this mean that we defused it? No, there's no way. No, that'd be too easy. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, I'm not going to click ahead. Let me just take a sip. I've just finished my fucking bottle. Because this is going to get weird. What darn Roar up. Oh, no, it's... What the hell? What do you oh, do? Oh, she wears the blue thing. Just cut one over three. Yeah, the blue. The blue, blue. Yeah, blue ribbon. Yeah, suck a dick, fucking Giselle. <laughs> Fuck, it stopped. That's close. Save, yeah, definitely save. Fucking game. Oh. It really stopped. I I bet you. Um, Anti Hero is gonna be waiting for this episode. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yes, it really stopped this time. We did it. This is a surprising amount of gameplay. For a yeah, it actually, it actually fucking caught me off guard with that, and I applaud it. This is great. <sighs> Thank God it's over. <laughs> We're really safe. Uh... Uh, I really feel like quitting my job now. Man, I really feel like quitting life right now. <laughs> That makes sense. You should two. have forgotten the whole bomb then. Oh, well, I did. I tried to kill myself numerous times, but gave me the <laughs> opportunity to restart. That makes two of us. Why did he cut the blue wire? Was there any reason for that? Because she wears the blue ribbon. No particular reason. But we were saved by a girl. Huh? Aurora was wearing a blue ribbon. I thought of the red, yellow, and blue ribbons he used in the mansion. Thanks, Aurora. See, I remembered something. See, this is actually fucking... That is fucking good right there. It's good because I remembered it as well. Otherwise, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like, no joke. I didn't remember it in that moment. I remember it being a thing, and I was like, oh, what's the blue ribbon mean? What the, what ribbon color is uh, or Akira got? It's red or orange or some shit. Um, and then w when I thought of the three colors, I was like, oh, do you know what? Mm, I don't know what the fuck and then it said Aurora and I was like straight away I remembered the ribbon 
That but was really good. The Giselle? No. Or, there you go, hentai hero. I could do gameplay. <laughs> kind of. Actually, I did fail a million times. Um, but did Giselle know Aurora? Why did she use her name in the final riddle? What is the connection between Giselle and Aurora? And how does the demon of Shunagasu Island fit into all of this? We're getting way more questions added to our lot right now. Like, it doesn't feel like we're approaching the end anymore. No, I think we're going to get some of these answers very easily. I mean, Giselle mm. clearly knew Aurora. This happened about 10 years ago or so many years ago. They must have been kids that were both at the um, mansion at the same at the time. Thing, yeah. And uh, what happened was um, Aurora was massively experimented on and Giselle somehow was able to escape. Um, yeah. And I think it's fa that's fairly obvious. Maybe they'll give us a little background uh, when we maybe when we corner Giselle. If we get to corner her. Would be nice. Darn. Even though I unmasked the killer, there's still so many things that I don't understand. There's also, why was Sen Ikida being put in the brain machine? <laughs> why were they trying to get the code from him? Remember, he was he was under, he was uh, strapped down to the machine with the, and being made to relive the, um, the events up to this. How can I forget? So why, because uh, what we were assuming there was they were trying to get the code from him. But he didn't have a clue yeah. what the code was. He wasn't the killer. No. So what was... Um, I wonder if we'll get anything about that. <sighs> My knees are shaking. I can't stand up straight. Uh, also, I, I kind of peed myself. <laughs> Go get changed. I'm getting too old for this. I, let, me just, let me just enjoy the vibe of this music. Oh, I fucking needed this. Oh, I need this chill. Hey, Rel, is this bomb really not going to detonate? Huh? Oh, after the last wire has been cut, a bomb is completely diffused. Yeah, but it might have been a <clears throat> trick. Should we not just chuck out the window? It won't detonate unless the cut wire is reconnected. Should we just chuck this out the window? <laughs> I really want to just chuck this out the window because I've got a feeling that that's <laughs> someone's going to come and reconnect it. I'll keep, I'll keep the bag though. It won't detonate unless someone intentionally lets it. Alright. Oh. <laughs> then I'll it. take a fucking bomb with me, you dumbass. What? Ikeda, you... What are you talking about? Are you crazy carrying such a thing? Well, it might come in handy. What? In a suicide mission? Who has to... We're not well armed, so having this kind of secret weapon might be a good idea. You... These are all mad. It can also be used as booby trap. But, but if we walk around with something like this, my anxiety will burn a hole in my stomach and, and, and I'll die. Still, better than a hole in the head, isn't it? Don't worry, I won't ask you to carry it around. Oh, see if he asked Nenoko to carry it around. I would never forgive uh -huh. him. <laughs> Alex, catch! <laughs> You're in charge of carrying the bomb with you. Rail and I are in charge of combat. What? Me? Alright, I know I can't refuse. Oh wow, that was unexpectedly uh, quick. Easy, yeah. But I'm afraid. Rail, this thing won't explode, will it? Can't be 100% certain. It should be safe, probably. Babu. Just tell Alex that it won't explode. Um, so, so, so what am I in charge of? You? Let's see. You're in charge of screaming. Screaming and making everyone nervous. I know you can do it. Ikeda, don't piss me off or you'll regret it later. Just kidding. Can I just say, have you saved it? No. Save it. Why? There we are. Okay, the stream's paused now. Alright, brilliant. Yeah, now that it's saved. Now I feel happy. Oh my god, don't get me afraid there. Oh, Nenako, I'm still counting on your abilities. Your knowledge and memory will always come in handy. I'm glad you're here. Well, 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 I'll gladly use my skills. 
Don't worry, because I'm always right beside you. Just, just don't get in my way. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, fuck. And on that bombshell... <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I think this is a good point to stop. To stop. Yeah, or, it's a bit I safe mean, and leave it there. Because I don't think we're going to... We're 1 hour 50 minutes in. I don't think... I think there's still a bit to go. Um, I'm just going to switch to the avatar screen. So, this was exciting and stressful. Um, we found out who the killer was. The killer uh, and fucking the demon of Shinagasa Island, who apparently is Aurora, have um, eloped with Akira, left Akira in a dining hall, and then disappeared. And we've disabled the bomb, which was quite stressful. And now we're going to be on a hunt for the killer to try and corner them and also save Akira. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It was kind of stressful. Uh, did you enjoy this, Kuxo? Oh, quite a lot. Yes, hopefully that will be the last stressful proper the actual gameplay. Holy shit. Part of the game. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this and... Uh, We'll see you another time. So for now, I'm Ishmanix. I'm Kixel. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later, everyone.